afternoon, public access viewers. My name is Simon Van Gogh, and welcome to Painting with Van Gogh After Midnight. We're here at our new time, 4 a.m. We've been bumped. Anywho, we have a wonderful subject tonight. His name is Robert, local accolade. You may have seen him on the local news channels 3, 5, and 12. Robert, how are you today? I'm good. I'm so happy to be here. All right. Well, Robert is, um, we're going to be painting Robert. Um, Robert's been recently elected to a pristine level of achievement. He recently has won the um, 12K Sad Run. A few months, don't, don't touch. Um, he's won the 12K Sad Month a few runs, months back, ran it in record time, and has not changed since he won that race three months ago. May I say, the smell certainly is still in the air. We can appreciate I that. I feel like these clothes have really served me well. Why change? Why change? So, um, we're going to have Robert stand over here in his signature victory, uh, right just on, on the box, the same victory pose that you had at the finish line a whole 18 hours and 17 seconds before anyone else. And there's our winner. Okay. Uh, we'll certainly go with the base that Robert is on right now with very, very large strokes to symbolize the podium that uh, he stood on when he uh, claimed victory. We use this um, very, very black base here to just show the strength that uh, really came along when uh, Robert did win. Now, um, grabbing their brush here, thank you. Um, we'll get a touch of uh, yellow in here to show that he is number one, Robert. Winner, number one. I won. I won. No. Robert, can you uh, tell us how you uh, trained for such a thing? I'm filled with a lot of darkness. I'm a vegan, and I read about animals, and I have discovered that the closest animal to human beings is the gazelle. So I went to Africa, I sold my car, and I just lived with the gazelles. I ran with them and I drank from the same pond and I ate grass. It was amazing. And then a cheetah chased me, Simon. I was so in tune with the gazelles that a cheetah thought I was a gazelle. I killed him with my bare hands. Impressive, impressive. Thank you, Simon, that means a lot. You ran on your feet and that's why we're making the foot perhaps the most important part of our portrait today. And the uh, rest of your body kind of uh, symboled up in some sort of, if, if, you, if you don't mind, just oh. back, back on the, the box with the, with the foot so we can keep going. Um, our whole bodies are connected. And what we're trying to show now is um, getting the, um, the darkness that kind of uh, came over your skin because though no, no water is offered at this race and as, as we do know, um, humans do not survive without water after for more than four hours. And you uh, somehow were able to, what in some way, drink your own piss. It's, it's late, no, one's, no one cares if we see that piss. Um, drink your own piss to survive and actually finish finish this race. Well, it's true. During the race, you have the option of drinking your own urine, and I do that all the time anyway because there's a lot of nutrients that people really miss out on if you don't drink your own urine. How did you really get into your uh, competitor's head? What, what type of terrible, 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 terrible things and demons did you shout to get them off your back. 
You know, racing is a competition. I'm a peace-loving man, but racing is a competition, and sometimes you have to get in people's heads. I would look for any sort of... If a person was ugly, their weight, if they had red hair, if they had any physical defect of some kind, I would just scream it out. It's a part of me, I'm sorry. I don't feel like I have to change who I am just because I'm running next to somebody who is less than attractive. Now, uh, we are putting the, uh, the victory medal that you did win uh, around your neck and uh, just uh, because that's that's what we that's what we do here. We, we we bring up we bring up the bad times and the good here on our show. And um, you actually had that medal taken away from you because because your purple piss actually uh, was Gatorade, which uh, is not okay to drink at races. It's it's for after the race. You you drink G3 during the race, and as you know, for all marathons, Gatorade three is only okay. A well, after the race, Simon, G2 is during. You know, Simon, they posted those rules on the internet and I don't believe in the internet. I don't believe it actually exists. So how was I supposed to know what the rules were? There's always next year. I, I feel a connection to this. This is great. As, as you should. It's, some, it's something you can hang in your home and have your, um, your, your, your grandkids long after, long after you're dead. You, you can have them find it in your attic and be like, Who, what, what, what's this? Is it? And then um, your, your friend who um, you know, stole, stole your wife and your wife and your grandkids can be like, that, that, was, that, was, that was your, your daddy. And uh, I, I painted your daddy once. Now, um, we will put your scarf back on. There it is. Ah, <laughs> hey, yes. then that. I thank you, my viewers, and Robert's wife for being so supporting, even after death, as stiff as she now is. And I'll just sit, bring it up. Bring it up. You're an artist. You are an inspiration. Goodbye. <laughs>